Stormy, we've got a problem. What? It's your girl. Apparently she left Riften earlier today. My girl? Zaytest? Who else would I be talking about? Given that you aren't asking how the job went, I assume it's urgent. It might be. One of my ears in the Ratway overheard Zaytest and the Guildmaster talking. And? Apparently it sounded like he was going to lop someone's head off. They left yesterday morning. That doesn't surprise me. You're not worried? I'm not willing to follow you down another of these conversations without more to go on, Miss Gold. I suppose I deserved that. Yes. Now why should I be worried? They're after Carlia. Who? She fled the guild after Mercer killed the previous guildmaster, Gallus. He was a good man. Didn't deserve it. Carlia came to me looking for protection. This was while you were still in Bruma, so I wouldn't expect- What? Stormy, wait up! We can talk later. Ingrath! Do you not know where you're standing right now? You heard nothing if you know what's good for you. The old woman who runs the orphanage has been murdered. Say, may I see you coming out of there? In wrath? Don't. You be careful how you use that name, Dominic, or you may end up choking on it. Was that a threat? It was a promise. Now tell me where they went. Snowvale Sanctum. A barrow off the road halfway between Windhelm and Winterhold. Good. Stormy, don't do this. You don't know what Mercer is capable of. No. But given the way you talk about him, I can guess his type. He wouldn't hesitate to use Zaytest as a shield or a hostage. I can't let her get caught in the crossfire like that. What if you're too late? Ingrath? Promise me something before you charge into that mess. What? If you get there and she's... Come back to me. Please. I've seen you lose people before. I don't want you to lock yourself away from the world again. You don't. She's your family. I know. I know what that means to you. I know she's basically the closest thing to a daughter you'll ever have, even if you won't admit it. I get that. But... I gave you the strength to at least try to save her. Am I not your family, too? You are wasting my time. Just promise me. You do not deserve that promise. I suppose that's as good as I'm gonna get, huh? After Egan... After threatening me with the Black Sacrament... After blackmailing me about Emily... Yes. Be careful out there, Stormy. I will. I am... Always careful. Are you following me? Well... I can't just let you charge in there alone, can I? I hate you. No, you don't. How would you know that?
Well, for one thing, you letting me follow you. Like I have any choice. You outrank me, Dominique. I do rather have to let you do what you please, don't I? Well, no, not necessarily. It's getting light out, Ingrath. Could you stop calling me that? Oh no. Yeah, that's just what we need right now. You know, I'm kind of glad I'm with you right now. You know, you're looking a little pale. Have you eaten today? Yes. Ish. Ish? What's that supposed to mean? Ah. I told you it was getting brighter out. We should probably find somewhere to hunker down for the... for the day. You know anywhere nearby that isn't a dungeon? I suppose Shore's stone is just up the road, isn't it? You might want to move before- ah, yeah. yeah. This is not good. Good enough. Excuse me. Ew. Did you really have to pick this place? Did you see an inn? No. Look, I don't care if this place smells like spiders and whatever else. Look, I know that you're... Well, emotionally compromised might be the best word for it. But you really should have more consideration for your surroundings. I know. I don't like this. I know you don't. We'll be wasting a day down in this stinking mine. I suppose it wouldn't matter one way or another, would it? No, not really. Are you alright? 
do I look alright to you? No, which is why I'm asking. That's definitely not the question you should be asking then. Are you alright? Yeah. You just got poisoned like three times, are you sure? <clears throat> yes, I'm fine. Spider venom doesn't hurt as badly as the sun does, so... You know. We'll wait here and then take off in the evening, how about that? Sure, why not? <laughs> I never took you for a miner, Dominique. Eh, you know. I can pry a few gems out here and there. You're restless. Yes, I am. Something happened earlier that I probably should have asked you about. Oh? I'm not entirely sure how to describe it. It was... I fed on somebody and something happened. Something happened. That's pretty specific. Yeah, I know. Trying to figure out a good way to describe it that doesn't make me sound insane. <laughs> you? Insane? Never. Yeah, shut up. It was like... I don't know, it... Suddenly I got stronger or something. Hmm. You're finally growing up, I see. What? Well, you know, vampires go through stages. You were a fledgling before, technically. I'd say you're a full-blooded vampire now. Great. Is there anything good that comes with it? Well, suppose you'll have to find that out for yourself. Helpful, as always. <laughs> Why don't you sit down and take a break? Yeah, probably a good idea. <sighs> this is not exactly the place I'd want to do that, but... We've had that discussion. Alright, you about ready? Yeah, I suppose. You look like you're getting a bit hungry again, Ingrath. I really wish you would stop calling me that in places where people could overhear us. There's nobody in here. I suspect the townspeople were all scared of the spiders. You're probably right. Still, we can't waste any more time. You really worry about her, don't you? You called her the closest thing to a daughter I'll ever have. You have to ask? Can I help Jeez. you? Yeah, still a bit bright out, but... All I'm asking is that you clean up once in a while. How you can find anything in your half of the place is beyond me. I'd rather spend more time in the mine hauling up iron. 
shouldn't you tell them that you took care of the spiders? Why don't you tell them? You're better with people than I am. <laughs> I'm trying to keep you from dying. Fair point. Snowvale Sanctum, was it? Yeah. Shouldn't you be a little more careful? What do you mean? Well, you're just kind of... charging. Good enough. Yeah, I know I'm charging. What else am I supposed to do? Well, you know, sneak, walk around with your bow out a little bit. Have a bit of caution so that you don't get killed before you can get to where we're going. Isn't that what I have you for? Cayman, you are insufferable, you know that? Yes, and you're the one who decided to turn me. Just because you asked. Nicely, I should say. Weren't you the one who decided I'd make a damn good vampire? Well, yes, but... Oh, good, another one. This is the part where I suggest you have stealth. Suppose you're right. You're not seriously going to drop down the side of the mountain, are you? Well, it's the quickest way between here and there. We might as well. You know you're nuts, right? Yes, I do. She'll find a way eventually. Cliffs and Skyrim are nothing compared to, well, trees in Valenwood. Not like we don't have plenty of mountains there, too, but not like these ones. Good. Careful, Cayman. Oh, you did decide to join me. That was... 
Interesting. What? <laughs> Nothing. You want to have a go? Nah, I'm good for now. That dragon's gonna be a real pain in our backside, I think. Only if we get too close. True. Oh good, they're distracted. That was lucky. How so? Well, you know. Saber cat? Fangs? <laughs> One lone officer with fang marks in his neck isn't gonna likely be noticed if they've gotten attacked by a saber cat. I suppose you're right. Huh. Nice armor. You're looking a little more chipper. Am I? Let me know if you have anything you need from me. Right now we just need to get to Snowvale Sanctum. Wherever that is. <laughs> You're pretending to keep your cool, I can tell. I'm running. My heart rate... Uh, whatever. She'll get ya. Gods, give a woman a break, would you? Not all of us are scout trained. Well, you're a vampire. You should be able to keep up just fine. I'm not a Bosmer. <laughs> I didn't realize that mattered. Gods, what's with this weather? It's Skyrim. What do you want? Smell someone. That's not exactly, you know, uncommon. You smell her too, don't you? No, I can't over the snow. Fair point. Dunmer, I think. Ashlander. She smells like dragon, too. Oh, really? You know, normal people can kill dragons. Yeah. Never mind. Wait, Ingrath, are you seriously going to swim across that? Yeah. I don't see the problem, do you? You are insufferable.
what? A Volkahar vampire like you doesn't mind a little swim in the cold, does she? Oh, come on. I hate you, Cayman! You're the one who turned me. Halfway between Windhelm and Winterfold, you say? Yeah. Should be just off the road somewhere. Yep. All right. I smell her. You smell her? Over the snow? She's not the only one. Odd. Hey, Dominique. Yeah? You know that dragon smell I was talking about? Yes? You can smell it, can't you? Yes, the Dragonborn came through here a few days ago. What of it? I just find it interesting is all. case have at them. Wow, you're pitiful, aren't you? Did you really have to go after them? Wouldn't you? I don't think Harkin would stand by if I let them do that. Came and look. Ah. Yeah, that'll do it. Where's Inigo? I don't smell him. Are you alright? Yeah. I'm keeping my eyes out for Mercer. I don't see him anywhere. I smell him, though. Yeah. And here you are. Excellent. Alright. There's the entrance. I doubt it's the only one. What makes you say that? Pharaohs always have two. Interesting observation. I bet that's the other one down there. Or it's somewhere nearby.
see anything? No, not yet. Over here. isn't another one. There she is. I will be. What happened? You might want to get in there. Oh, good. What makes you say that? Well, if you would slow down and give me a chance to explain, I would. She'll catch up. Dominique! There you are. What happened? Well, you're not gonna like this, but something smells like poison. Oh, shit. Alright, you wait here. Is there some way I can assist you? If that's what you want, then I'll wait. Time for me to get pretty. Here goes something.
Mari. Easy. Easy. You must be Carlia. What the hell did you do? My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. So you shot her instead? To do what? Save her from Mercer? I made a split-second decision to- Have you any idea what you've done? Without the antidote I administered, she would be still as a statue. No, she would be dead already. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. And how exactly did that go? The poison on that arrow would have been just enough to paralyze someone like Mercer, I grant you that. But look at her. She weighs half as much as he does, I'd wager. That dosage, even with your antidote, is killing her. Do you understand me, Carlia? She is the best chance you have at redemption. Should she die, you have no chance at all. I care not what manner of protection this girl offered you, and it matters not. If this girl dies, so do you. Slowly. Do you understand? Mercer will have to get in line. Shadows preserve us. I promise you. Your promises mean nothing to me. Now get out of here before I rip your throat out with my fangs. She needs a healer and there isn't much time. Wait a moment. Choose your next words very carefully. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. I suspect the information we need is written inside. We? I think not. I'm leaving and taking the girl. I will take that if you wish, but it looks like it's written in Dromeris for all I know. Who in Tamriel could read? Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. As you wish. Now get out of my way, Carlia. Cayman. Macfaquellus. Would you spare a moment before you go running off again? For what reason? I owe you, don't I? In ways I can't possibly imagine? Get to the point, Gold. Time is running short. I'm not trying to stop you. I'm going to take the girl to a safe location. Nowhere in Tamriel is safe, dog. Where in Hercene's name? Shut up, Stormy, and listen to your elders for once. Good. Now to assuage at least one of your fears, I'm not going to do anything to her. I know better than anyone what happens when someone hurts your little girl. Good. As for your question, there's a little barrow to the northwest of here, barely visible from the road. The, uh, current occupant owes me a favor. I can take her there. Is there anyone in Skyrim who doesn't owe you a favor? <laughs> Surprisingly, yes. Take care of her, Dominique. I will. Renke Ur, Cayman. Ride strong yourself, Gold. <laughs>